Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I have my friend, introduce yourself. Connor Martinez. And Connor, you've been here before. Uh, one time, yeah. Yeah, one time. And your video has a lot of views on it, man. If you didn't notice, I noticed. Well, look, <laughs> you're back again today with what deck? Uh, punk, uh, punk with some hand traps and shit. Okay, well today you played Punk at our locals, and what did you do with it? Uh, I got X1. X1, I love that for you, man. Before we get started, was there any shout outs or anything you wanna give? Um, Adam for playtesting it with me. Um, and then, you know, Team Smooth and Travis, of course. All right. Well, guys, support the YouTubes. Well, look, man, I appreciate the shout out and I love all the other shout outs you give to your team every time. Well, let's get right into deck profile, dude. All right, well, it's pretty standard for the punk core. So, you know, three Zayaman, three uh, Foxy Toon, three Ogre Dance. The one are those wagon. Sorry, not got to get you off. Are these collector rare? Yeah, they are. Oh my goodness! I noticed the bling, man. All right, let's Bruh, go. I dude, it's one of these decks that I actually you like love. A lot, I understand. So I, I blinged it out. For sure. Uh, the one wagon for the field spell, and then the one madam for the traps to search. So the full combo, you pay three thousand, you get five cards. It's crazy. Um, two Sharakusai, um, pretty standard, and then two Deer Note, pretty standard as well. So that's it for the uh, punk. Now. Punk Engine. And then I'm playing three Unicorn Cash Tiras. Mm, how was this card today? Um, I didn't play against Tiras, so it wasn't as good as it could have been. And um, But it's a free summon. It's a level 7, so 7 plus 3 equals Baron. And then um, because it searches the um, Burf, sorry, I'm just digging it out. No, you're good. It searches uh, Burf, it can reborn itself, and then it's just an extra deck rip. So um, against certain decks, it's a lot stronger, but it's really just bodies and okay. just something else they have to deal with. Yeah. Into Barone, so. um, to Orochi, um, you don't. Wow, it's has that, this card a minute? Um, it's been okay. Yeah. It's really just another level eight body. It's to help like you can synchro on your opponent's turn. So you, like if they don't see a level eight and they know how Punk works, then they're not expecting it. If this is in hand or if it's engraved, then it's just another body. Really, it's all about free summons, man. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it's about free summons, and then it, you know, it, best deals kind of it's kind of jank sometimes. Um, but speaking of best deals, I'm playing five best deals. Uh, two Magmut, two Drizzworm, and one Sourneer. Just one of the different <laughs> names and some stuff for hand traps. Um, the one Ogre, because you could search it off your Synchro. Eight. Two Ash. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't play three. Uh, three Gamma and my boy, the driver. Um, and then that's for the hand, that's the hand traps, pretty much. Okay. So we're just, we're going to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, big because monster we're playing Punk. So, yeah, we're on 50 cards. Because um, we're drawing so many cards, we're going to draw some kind of hand trap lineup. Mm -hmm. And then you play three field spells because that's what gives you Pot of Greed and Special Summon from Hand, Punk style. Um, three Itelli because standard. Um, it's the best card in the deck. I play two Cosmic. You don't need to. Um, I just hate Floodgates, so I like having two. I play three Triple T because when you do get punished in this deck, sometimes you can't extend. So having Triple T. Um, drawing two cards, or if you can extend, ripping their hand is really important, and then breaking boards by taking some really strong card. Um, three Emperor, someone else you can draw, and then um, you play. I play one of both traps because I like having the variety of both. Because um, also gaining life is kind of, can be valuable sometimes because yeah. you kind of lose a lot of life in this deck. Makes sense. And then Dragon Pop, you know, is really valuable. So like, you know, if you open Cosmic, then you grab the Imperm. If you open an Imperm, you grab the other one. Just a little variety. Um, it's 50 cards. Oh, actually, no, it's 47, I think. Um, because I don't have the Magician Souls, which is ah, how you get yes. to make Arc Light against Tier. Makes That's sense. the idea that, and then draw more cards. Um, so that is the main deck. Besides, besides the you know the forty-seven cards right now, without the addition of the Souls package, was there any other cards that you would probably consider or cutting out to make it shorter? Um, cutting or what? out, it's tough. I mean, the Gizmek Orochis you don't really need. I just I remember playing it when Chaos Ruler and. Um, how we're in the game and it was very valuable you played three of it but um the cash tiras are usually nice it, it's just a way to break boards and give you levels um you can probably cut a field spell if you really want to because if you have combo you have the field spell anyway mm -hmm. so you can probably cut a field spell um but you know it's really up to you you can cut yeah. the cosmics you can really get it down to like 44 43 if you really want. this is your first time playing this version of the deck at our local uh, yeah or? it is okay well we'll see next week where you're at with it <laughs> Let's we'll see we'll see um <laughs> hopefully when i get souls um we can start making arc light and drawing more cards so easily a little more consistent uh, easily let's check out the extra deck um so two so pre-standard here two amazing dragon and then two jam dragon man you went all i love it 
Uh, I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's your standard punk stuff, and then, you know, the one rising carp to do the full combo. And, you know. And then one Punisher, because decks, a lot of decks do not have an out for it, and mm -hmm. is a free win. The one Baron, you make off of Akashitira and um, any punk name, every any extra extender after you do the combo. So it's also really safe to protect your rising carp sometimes when you have that hand. Uh, one Lambda, because we play Gamma, and since we can get extra bodies on the field, Lambda is really valuable. And then also you can, um, you don't need a level eight if you have Lambda and share Kusan field, because if you Gamma them, the Gamma and Driver are eight, so then you can still Synchro. Love it. Um, I play one Dark, because tier, and I'm playing Bestials, so it's not hard to do. Yeah. Um, and then I play one Usa to get the Shufflers too, um, because all the punks are Earth, so it's not hard to make Usa. Um, this extra deck's not really complete. I had to throw some of it together today because <laughs> I arrived a little late. Um, the Almirage, because sometimes it comes up where you need a normal and special one from hand, or like one gets hand trapped and you need to get off the field so the field spell can extend you. And then um, I threw these in the extra deck today. Um, so I threw the uh, Numeron package, and then I just threw Dean in because you can make rank eights. Just another kill option, and then I get the spell negate and yeah. You know, in case they make they lock me off synchros with like D barrier, yeah. that's the idea. But um, one of these would probably be uh, arc light, and then you have a lot of options. You can play more links really easily. You can there's a lot of options in this deck, um, but that's just what I decided to play today. I love that, dude. A lot of math goes into it. I love it. Yeah, we just want to kill people. <laughs> For Punisher, sure. You know, amazing dragon. You know, fun stuff. The whole the whole nine. And Did then you, um. So you want to show side? Let's get it. Yeah, side. Um, I play three Joel because I hate playing against decks that aren't necessarily in the format and they're like Pendulum or Dark World. I hate it, so I want, this outs myself as well, but so um, I hate decks that do what I do. So. You prepare, that's why it's called side deck, I love it. Yep, um, I do play three Fenrir on the side. Um, so going second, you side these in because it's a lot better going second and it's still level seven, adds you another copy, you know, keep going because you could just summon it again if they get rid of the first one, you know? <laughs> so this one's a lot better than Unicorn because there's actually removal and stuff. Yeah. Um, play three Dark Ruler, because, um, you know, gotta break boards. Uh, three Lightning Storm. And then I tried this out today. It was okay, but I didn't see it all day because I'm playing 50 cards, I don't always see it. Um, the one change of heart and two enemy controllers. Whoa, okay. Um, the enemy controllers is cute, because you can get bodies on the field, and then when you just, you really just need to get 8,000 damage. So you do it however you can with Punk, because sometimes we struggle to out certain boss monsters. And I mean, if we could target it, that works out. We usually can out it, but you know, and this is also interruption as well. Oh yeah, if you most definitely. Play tributes on dodge shit. You know, dodging imperm is pretty funny. Every you know, time, stuff like that. <laughs> um, they're okay. I didn't really like. I haven't really play tested these, but um, when I did see it the one time, it, it was good. Yeah, when it comes up, it comes up. Well, look, I know by next week. This time around, you'll definitely have this figured out, and we'll see you um, again either X1 or undefeated, right? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll definitely step. undefeated, man. I love that. Well, thank you again, Connor, for letting me do the deck profile. No problem. Appreciate and until next time, guys, you guys take care. Yeah.